Hello everybody, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know what dead man mode is. But, I'm going to give you guys a quick summary of what exactly it is. So dead man mode is a PvP world in which if you kill someone, you will actually get the bank key with the top 10, 10 or 15 items that are the most expensive in their bank. It is a whole separate world, so you have to grind from the beginner status level 3 combat and it does not affect your regular runescape account now it does come with some other things including only certain banks are safe so basically you could attack somebody and that person gets a skull now if you kill that person then you have a certain timer in which you have to sustain that and wait that timer out before you can go to the bank now if you go and you get scalded and you go to the bank then you die and if you're scalded and somehow you die you lose your stats except the three that you saved and you lose your top 15 most expensive items in the bank and even the all the stuff that's in your inventory so it's like a pvp world a risk pvp world except there's an element of losing your stats and also losing what's in your bank so without any further ado let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video Starting off, I want to mention that I am pro Deadman mode. I love Deadman mode in the way it worked with everybody, where everybody starts from level 3 and eventually makes their way up to level 120 combat. My question is, why did RuneScape remove it? Deadman mode was really great, and often when I ask that question, I get the answer that, oh, Deadman mode was dying, and so it isn't worth it for RuneScape to host a server in which they're giving mad money and not making a lot. But why is it dying? No one was able to answer that question. Everybody would just say, you know, it's the game mode, people were getting bored. But I have the answer to that. And let me tell you the main reason why. Jagex. Jagex was very incorrect when they decided to modify Deadman mode so many times to try and sue a certain small group of people. And this is what killed Deadman mode. I want to go over a couple specific examples here before I get into anything too specific. For example, first off, I want to talk about GE. Why was GE added into the game? Everybody was complaining that, you know, it's better to have GE. But did they complain? They didn't. No one asked for GE to be put in Dead Man Mode. Dead Man Mode was very loved, and it was because it kind of had the old aspect of RuneScape in which people were talking, flipping, and doing all that stuff, which they can't do in modern day RuneScape. So, having GE come back just ruined the game! So why would they integrate GE is a problem that everybody should ask them. If GE was not integrated into the game, it would let people flip, let people talk, and it would keep the RuneScape player base in Deadman mode active very much as I was. When Deadman Mode was out and first everybody was in Edge because they didn't have, or I mean, Virak West Bank, I think is what it's called. Everybody was there, everybody was talking, everybody was flipping. I was actually one of the guys who were like flipping, buying and selling, and it very created like a very good environment. I was having so much fun buying, selling, flipping, talking to people, trying to like offer them a lower amount of number so that they can sell me, and it works. And by just having that GE, it ruins the whole aspect of communication. You can't flip anymore. You can't try and like debate with someone if it's cheap or expensive, if they can give you a discount. And this makes the game inactive. So why did they add it in is the real question. Don't add it in, Jagex. Jagex, what are you doing? All right. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is Lava Dragons. Jagex, another big mistake that they made was just doing a ton of updates. They messed up the game by the amount of updates they've been doing. They kept trying to help a small group of people who were complaining and eventually ruined it for everybody, causing the whole player base to just quit on us and for RuneScape to go for it. So basically, the small group of people complained to Jagex that, oh, Rot is basically like, Rot is camping Lava Dragons. So guess what Jagex did? The horrible, the worst thing that Jagex could ever do remove lava dragons what is that what is that because somebody was complaining that Jarrah was camping lava dragons what are you talking about honestly 
very sad, and I can't believe that Gyax actually did that. For one person who posted a Reddit post that Lava Dragons is camping Rot. Other way around, Rot was camping Lava Dragon. But without any further ado, that was a bad idea, and let me tell you why. First off, that was very incorrect. Rot tried to camp Lava Dragons, but they couldn't, because every time they stay there, they did get lucky the one time and they did get a DFS, but that was like pure luck, because every single time they'd go there, a ton of other clans were also trying to camp Lava Dragons. So look at what happened. You, it made like a PvP environment in which all the clans were fighting each other, and it made it better for who? The solo players. Me! Me! Let's go! All right, so let's go back to the fact that what we're talking about. So basically what Jagex did was it just kept doing stupid updates for people that were like nobody's in the game. You had like a hundred people or even a thousand people out of like 10,000 people who were complaining and Jagex did every single thing that they wanted. They started complaining that, oh, you know, it's kind of annoying about the misclicks idea where you shouldn't be able to misclick. And that's why people were dying, and that's why people were quitting. Well, that was a lie, because misclicks were also part of the fact of enjoyment. You know, let me tell you something. I have lost over, like, honestly, one bill worth of misclicking on RuneScape. And let me tell you something. I always almost quit, that's true, but, like, the environment it creates of having an adrenaline rush just because you misclicked or for all the other people around makes the game want to make you rebuild. Because if you misclick, and you get and all the other people are making mad stacks because of you misclicking and then somebody else misclicks and you kind of go to loot his stuff it's like a flip right you never really quit because you're always like maybe i can miss like somebody will misclick on me and i'll make mad stacks which has happened to me so i lost one bill but i probably got my one bill back because i had a guy mystics like stacked with gp and everything misclick on me and look what happened i made my money back so, nonetheless guys, let me tell you something. Basically, this was another aspect of the game that people enjoyed. People enjoyed old RuneScape with PvP. That was like the perfect match ever. I actually thought that this was going to be the real thing. Like, RuneScape is going to make math stacks, which they did, until they kept adding updates and listening to like a thousand players. Very bad job, RuneScape. So guys, I'm coming back here to tell you guys... We want Dead Man Mode back. They tried to launch something like Dead Man Mode called Last Man Standing, which totally failed because, like, what is this? It makes no sense at all. You're looting, like, what are the chests for stuff? People want Dead Man Mode. No one wants the old-fashioned type random things that you guys tried to invent because RuneScape doesn't want to do Jagex or doesn't want to do Dead Man Mode anymore. All right. I think I'm getting a little off topic here, but... Realistically, going back to the fact of Dead Man Mode, I really enjoyed Dead Man Mode, and I, I know a ton of people who did too. If Dead Man Mode was to come back right now and remove all the updates that they have, we want it to be old school RuneScape. We want the old aspect of RuneScape while adding PvP, adding PvM exactly the way Seasonal 1 was. No modifications, leave it so that you can misclick, leave it so that clans can multi or do whatever the thing they want, leave it the way it is. No updates, no nothing, and launch it right now. And look at how much money, not only will it be amazing to us players, because we love and enjoy Dead Man Mode so much, but it will also be a good money maker for you. So it's a win-win situation. And, and, I'm not only speaking on behalf of myself, I'm speaking on behalf of all the PvPers out there, and all the PvMers, and all the players of RuneScape want Dead Man Mode back. Let me tell you guys something else, and very important. And this is probably a really serious aspect that I want to say. Jagex is missing out so much, and I'll tell you guys why. Jagex is losing players to illegal RuneScape private servers right now. There are so many RuneScape private servers that are Deadman Mode related that average about 2,000 players daily online because of their Deadman Mode aspect. And this is very sad that we are losing 2,000 players to play RuneScape private servers that are like scammy black market type. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna roast them. But in general, like they could take those 2,000 players and like put it into RuneScape because if they have Dead Man Mode, they're gonna bring back those 2,000 players, and they're also gonna add like another 10 because that's RuneScape. I guarantee you, Jagex, if you were to actually put Dead Man Mode back up 
advertise it slightly, not even a ton, because people don't even like people know Dead Man Mode and are like dying to see it again, but no one's willing to speak out. So I'm speaking out on behalf of you guys. Jagex, listen up here. I'm giving you guys a great deal. Make Dead Man Mode, bring it back the way it was, original version, no updates, no modifications, leave it the way it is. You will be able to make mad stacks, not only that, you will be able to generate your player base back and I guarantee you that currently 70,000 players is going to go up to 100,000. That's a guarantee from me and you can hold me on my words. You will literally gain 30,000 players because of the integration of Deadman Mode with no updates. And listen up here, if you decide that you are going to add an update into the game to try and support it, quote unquote, or like improve, quote unquote, it, and you do not get the 100,000 players, I'm letting you know exactly why. No one wants any updates. Everybody wants the original RuneScape where you are texting, buying, selling, talking to people, not GE. Remove GE. Screw GE! Alright, I'm kind of getting out of, out of the mood. I'm kind of, kind of hyped about this. I actually love RuneScape Deadman Mode, and I'm so hyped, and I want to see it come back. It's really sad that we had to lose it. You guys can even see the my PK clips. I was like insane. I can like so I can PK so well. You don't even know. So, back to the Jagex situation. Jagex, listen up here. Make sure you bring back Deadman Mode. Hashtag bring back DMM. Bring back DMM. We pay, we say. We pay, we say. Everybody, listen up. Make sure you like the video so this can be trending. We need this to reach the top. We want dead man mode. We do. And make sure you share this video to as many people as possible. Let this go to the Jagas community. Let them know that what they need for a successful RuneScape game is dead man mode with no modifications, with no GE, no changes. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And thanks for the support. Almost at 1,000 subscribers. Very close. Only 200 subs away. But hopefully, by the end of this video, we will have been on trending. Make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. And share. And comment your thoughts below. What do you think of this? Should Dead Men Mode come back? I 100% agree. It should. But let's see the community's opinion. And if this video, if this video gets to 50 likes, which is a lot... I will make sure I call up Jagex or something like that, something crazy in which we talk to Jagex and we see if there are any updates with Deadman Mode. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace.